Every morning, I go out to feed the chickens. Sometimes they're out, sometimes they're not. This morning, they're out. So my routine is I just turn on the hose, drag it over there, give them water, then give them feed, then come inside. Dixie caught her a few, like a month ago, and we've been feeding her cat food, which is possum's favorite hors d'oeuvre. She's been doing good. We're Clover and Rachel Carroll, and we own a small vacation rental business called We'll Stay Here Again. Not we'll, but will. We'll stay here again. We uh, are currently managing um, four properties in Washington County, but we're growing that every day. One of the best things about being in this business is we get to involve our kids and get to be around our kids um, all the time. Um, They're a part of what we do and everyone has a job to do. This is one of my favorite chickens. Her name is Felina. After the song of out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love with the Mexican girl. So I have three chickens like this and I have a lot of chickens. Well, the ones that look like these are called breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I named them myself. So, when it's time to do it, we can eat them in order. Washington County is the birthplace of Texas. Most of the B&Bs in the area um, have a historical look to them. They're they're not like the big cities. Um, People are coming to escape the city. They're coming to relax. They're coming to come see the antiques, shop for antiques, drink wine by a fire, relax, rekindle romance. Um, And that's what we want to foster at our properties. So this is our summer garden, or what's left of it. The only thing that's still going really well is the okra, of course, and the... um, And fire ants. And fire ants. And this this little lemon cucumber that uh, my dad says is a wild cucumber, and he's probably right, because he usually is about farm stuff. Um, But this is what it looks like. They have a kind of a tart taste, and this is about as big as they get. When they get looking like like that, then they're they're ready to pick. And it it loves the heat. Nothing throws it back. As hot as it's been this summer, this thing has just thrived. I mean, look at it. And it hasn't rained all summer long, so the ground's really high. My job is to do all of the renovation, handle it all. Um, I love working with my hands. I come from a construction background, and if I don't do it, um, our team of vendors are handling it. I hear gunshots. One of the good things about living in the country, you feel safe. Everyone out here has guns. Every morning I would get up at four and I would uh, get into Houston really early and then I would get back around 7.30 and I really wasn't seeing 
the kids in 2000, latter part of 2018. Yeah. Uh, Cooper, our middle, uh, was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia. I want to get ready first. Does Papa have to get in to help you get in there? Nope. Just do a face dive. <laughs> no, I mean, What's the just... face dive, Papa? It's a life shortening neuromuscular degenerative disease. And uh, it, it hit us pretty hard. Um, but God's in the business of bringing glory to Himself through stories like this. I knew that I wasn't going to be spending the rest of the time that I had driving back and forth to Houston. But we did know that we wanted to make the most of our family time. We've, we've always made family and the priority, but we knew that we needed to change our situation so that we're both here. The best way for us to learn things sometimes is through hardships, through hard things that get our attention and remind us that Christ is the center of all hope and all joy. Being a family-owned business, we get to run everything by our kids first and see if they enjoy it. The waffles were definitely a big hit. With syrup and grape jelly and whipped cream and chocolate chips and ready-made biscuit mix um, and sprinkles. Don't forget sprinkles. Uh, we're also adding a hot tub this fall uh, at, at all of the properties. We're going to have some hot tubs and we are going to be bringing in a grocery delivery, if you want grocery delivery, if you want a masseuse. And one of the things that we really like is having a background in jazz music. You can have your own private jazz concert. Summertime, and the living is easy. Fishy or jumping, the cotton is high. Burton Cotton Gin Festival that happens every spring is a big draw from uh, all over Texas. And it is, it is like going back in time. Just everything they have, everything. They had a bubble, bubble gum blowing contest, a funnel, uh, they had a pie eating contest. So there's the Cotton Gin, which is one of the, that houses the oldest diesel engine of its kind called the Lady B that still runs today. And so they fire it up on, at the Cotton Gin Festival. You can see it. Um, so it's a big draw for that. So we have the Cotton Gin, and then we have the Cotton Den, which you can see Library of Congress photos. Um, Rachel, by the way, Rachel does all the decorations. She does all of the decor, um, which is another name for decoration. The Cotton Den is the perfect spot for a little family gathering. It has a very quiet, peaceful interior. We've brought the history of the Cotton Gin into that little space. The backyard is my favorite though. It's perfect for small wedding or gathering. Clover did a gorgeous job putting together a chandelier in the backyard. We bring in picnic tables and there's also this historic cistern in the back. I guess I'd say how we're different from other vacation rentals in our area is our level of hospitality. If you come and you forget something, we're going to take care of you. We're going to find that for you. Um, if you have a special need, we're going to take care of you. Um, if you want a, a fire made for you, we'll get that fire made for you. If you need groceries delivered, we can get groceries delivered. If you want a masseuse, we can get a masseuse lined up. We, we're even experimenting with carriage rides this next season. Our places are not in the big city. 
They're the quaint getaways that are quiet, peaceful, beautiful. That's what people get when they come to one of our places. We know when you travel, you want a vacation rental that has all the conveniences of home so you can focus on what matters most on your vacation. We love hospitality and we want someone to come and stay at one of our places and have an amazing stay. We want to be your home away from home.